Squarespace versus Etsy, which is better for your business in 2021. Hi guys, today I am comparing Squarespace with Etsy and we will figure out that which one of these platform is better for you for your business to do your e-commerce business or sell your products online. So let's get started. First, we have Etsy. Now, Etsy is a marketplace where you can actually create your e-commerce store and sell your handmade product, vintage products and other stuff as well. When we talk about Squarespace, Squarespace is a website builder where you can create your e-commerce store as well and when we compare both of these etsy and squarespace both of them actually have their own pros and cons as well the first difference between squarespace and etsy is that you can create a website on squarespace while you cannot create a website on etsy because etsy is a marketplace where you will find different products you will find suppliers and you can do drop shipping as well when it comes to squarespace on squarespace you can create your own creative professional e-commerce store but it is not a marketplace and this is one of the biggest cons of squarespace that when there is no marketplace of course there is no engaged audience on squarespace so in simple words guys what happens on etsy is that etsy is a marketplace right it has audience available like if you make a store on etsy there is already people buying stuff on Etsy and they will come across your store and you will be able to sell your product. But when we talk about Squarespace, on Squarespace, it, there is no marketplace. Only the people you approach will be able to open your store and it's a little difficult. You make Squarespace when you are actually, you know, you have your e-commerce business and it's kind of like a big business. So in simple words, Squarespace is not beginners friendly and Etsy is very beginners friendly and it will definitely help you get your first order as well. But when it comes to Squarespace, no, you make Squarespace, you start your business on Squarespace when it is already running. So that's a big difference between these two. So let me show you around Squarespace and the pricing for Squarespace because there is of course a pricing when you do e-commerce, you're building websites. So there are different plans. There is a free version. This is the free version that i am using on squarespace which actually allows you to create awesome websites and your e-commerce store as well so when we talk about the pricing you can see there is a personal plan for 12 dollars. there is a business plan which is the most popular plan and it is for 18 dollars per month and then there is basic commerce which is 26 dollars per month so let's just see in the commerce you actually get your on if i can just show you you will see right here you will get gift card point of sale customer account checkout on your domain powerful e-commerce analytics powerful merchandising tools product on instagram abandoned card recovery self subscriptions advanced shipping advanced discounts and commerce apis so these are all the features actually you get on squarespace advanced shipping advanced discounts commerce apis and limited available labels so that's pretty good these are the Different features that you will be getting in $26 or $40. So when it comes to Etsy, making a store on Etsy is completely free, but there is a lot of fee on Etsy. That's a con for Etsy because there is a lot of retail pricing on Etsy. If I can just show you right here the fees and payment policy for Etsy, you can see right here there are different types of fees. There is a listing fee, which is 0.20 USD for each item and that you list for sale on etsy now there is a listing fee then there is another fee which is the transaction fee and what happens is you will be charged a transaction fee of five percent of the price you display for each listing plus the amount you charge for delivery and gift wrapping and then there is another fee which is the advertisement and promotional fee if you do ads if you promote your product then you'll have to pay the fee as well then there is a subscription fee which is 10 usd dollar per month then there is payment processing fee and delivery fee as well so a lot of fee on etsy that's actually a big con for me and for you as well of course when we're doing drop shipping and we're running our business on etsy we'll actually have to pay a lot but when we talk about squarespace of course once you have bought a plan and then there is no fee for you you don't have to you know go through all of these different fees then there comes the seo build-in seo that 
that is available in Squarespace but not available on Etsy. On Squarespace, you can actually build your own customized store and you can actually integrate a lot of features into your e-commerce store and make it more professional. If I go right here to the shipping, you can see you can sell products online and these are actually when it comes to building SEO, then I think that Squarespace is much better than Etsy. And when it comes to the quality of the product on Squarespace, it is guaranteed high quality because the people who sell here, the listings, the product quality, they are all, you know, very professional and they are the businesses that are already running. So it becomes a little secure for the buyer to buy things from Squarespace because they know they're going to get a good product. When it comes to Etsy, there are sellers who might not have a good quality. And when it comes to the variety of product, Etsy has a lot of product. For example, you will see, you know, home decor, handmade products, vintage products. There comes a point where there is no, you know, variety and a lot of categories. But when we talk about Squarespace, then there are a lot of categories because every store has its own different listings. And in the listings, you will find all of these amazing products. Products. So in this way, Squarespace is better as well. So you can see the shipping right here, flexible shipping option available on Squarespace and there are APIs and integrations. When it comes to shipping, Etsy is also very great. There is a good shipping option on Etsy as well. So when it comes to creating an online store, you can create a good store on Etsy as well. You can create a good store on Squarespace, but Squarespace is actually a website builder and and it's all about the templates on Squarespace. You will find these amazing templates to create your website and to create your online store. So it makes your store stand out. It makes your store look good. So that's how, you know, Squarespace kind of gets a point over at C because you will be able to create an amazing creative store of your own with your own requirements, with your own pictures and templates and products. So that makes it look good. When a store looks good, of course, it will attract the audience and people will actually buy. And when it comes to Etsy, you can make a good store on Etsy. But of course, it's not that creative. You don't get a lot of templates. You don't get a lot of options. It is good for categories when it comes to Etsy. But of course, the products will be limited because it's a marketplace. There are a lot of sellers and you will find these products. Sometimes the quality of the product may not be good. But when it comes to Squarespace, it will always be good. You know, now it comes to the point where we have to decide that whether whether we should use Squarespace or we should use Etsy for our business. Now, here I would suggest if you're looking to create a store and you're looking that if you, you should go with Etsy or you should go with Squarespace. Let's just say you're thinking about Squarespace. What you have to do is I suggest that take a look from the outside. You know, don't be overconfident. I'm just saying that, you know, get yourself out from the situation where you are not, you know, thinking that, okay, I can do this. Think about the facts and be more realistic and think that if you have engaging audience or not, if people will buy your product or not, if you either have a million views on Pinterest, if you have followers on Facebook, or Instagram that will actually buy your product or if you have an engaging audience active audience that buys your product then you should definitely go with Squarespace because you will be able to create an amazing store for your audience to buy from but if you are a beginner if you're not that into business right now and you have a store you have your products you're doing good you can go with Etsy because it will allow you to have a good store and actually sell products on Etsy. So, you know, you can make a store on Etsy and once you're up and running, you can go to Squarespace. But of course, if you want to start from Squarespace, go ahead, do that. Both of these platforms are actually pretty good. There are a lot of fees on Etsy, as we saw, commission fee and listing fee. But on Squarespace, you'll actually have to eventually buy a plan. So yeah, guys, both of these platforms are amazing. I hope that I was a big help to you and now you will be able to figure out that which of these platform is better for you to run your business, sell your products online. Make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to the YouTube channel.